Okay, so it's 1.30 on December 26th, but that's not going to stop me from wishing all of you a Merry Christmas. Here from the nation's capital. And what better way to celebrate Christmas than by having a look at some Christmas presents? Although I'm not real sure if they are technically Christmas presents or what, because I did technically get them before Christmas, but... Uh, Anyway, it was the biannual, is that the right word? Twice a year? I think biannual is the right word for that. Not real sure, but anyway, the twice yearly visit with Ross ACB. And along the way, along the way, I got two things, the first of which is going to be prominently featured in this video, and you could probably already guess what it is. This here is a rather sad looking uh, compact Presario EX. Compact Presario, Compact Desk Pro EX, my apologies. It is, of course, 1.30 in the morning, past 1.30 in the morning, in fact, and I am rather tired after spending a night with family. All right, anyway, so I've got these IDE cables. They're going to go in this machine. Uh, if you remember, I swapped in this motherboard, which has got an Athlon 1300 Thunderbird. It's in better condition than the original motherboard. And the missing piece of the puzzle has arrived the power supply and here it is courtesy of Ross ACB you can see product of China there's the part number it is a 95 watt power supply I don't remember what they call this form factor I think it might be TFX it might not be I think it's actually a little bit taller than a standard TFX power supply I hope it works <laughs> um, that thought has crossed my mind a couple times, but you know what they say? You only live once. I think it's set for 115. It is. I even have the screws, although I pulled them out of it for some inexplicable reason. We're also going to be installing a hard drive. I have this 10 gig hard drive, and for good measure to make this video worthwhile, we will be installing Windows 2000 Professional on this particular machine. So, let us get started. All right, I'm going all out for you folks. I've got a tripod, and I'm going to be using a tripod for this particular video. So first things first, before I go junking up the case with the power supply and all the cabling, we are going to install the hard drive, which is going to involve the removal of... And here's why I got out the tripod, is because it's going to need a couple of hands, probably even more than I have, in order to do this, because I guarantee you this computer's going to fall over as soon as I try this. But there are two Torx threaded screws, which is one of the reasons why I'm not exactly the biggest fan of HP Compaq. Hopefully we can get these out of here without too much disturbance. There's two of them. They do have uh, indentations for flat blade screwdrivers, but frankly, I've got a Torx driver. Why would I not just use it? Okay, apparently that one has decided that it wants to buy the farm. Well, we'll just see about that. No siree. <laughs> so, let me pull that out. And then, on the front, there are actually enough screws to install a hard drive. I believe, and maybe even then some. No, that should be... Yeah, four screws for the hard drive. So we'll pull these out. I believe they're all the same. Okay, so those screws are now out. It's rather hard on the back. Once again, I'm not the biggest fan of tripods because they tend to get in the way, which is exactly what this one is doing. Okay, now we get our hard drive. Not anything special. It's configured for single drive, which is exactly what we need. So here we can see it. It's just a 10 gig drive. I hope it's in good health.
I did manage to actually get all the screws. There we go. So now we can junk this thing up with all of the cabling. Flip it around. We'll bring the tripod to the front or the back, such as the case may be. We'll figure out where I put the pen display. There it is. Figure out which way it goes in. Now I do have a slight concern, and that is with the length of these power supply cables because this power supply does not give you a whole lot in the way of expansion. There's your floppy drive cable right there. There's a Molex here. There's a Molex here. There is a Molex here. And there is your 24 pin power supply. That's it. So the other hope that I've got is that this computer does not require a 4 pin power connector. And fortunately, it looks like it does not. So we're good. I don't have to let out a whole bunch of swear words because this is power supply won't work. <laughs> because that would suck. So we'll put it into place here somehow. Here we go. Get it into place correctly. And then I will find the screws, which were over here, but now they're not. Oh, I probably lost them. Glorious. Are they here? No, they were here. They were right there. I just had them. So apparently I'm going to have to spend some time looking for screws, which sucks. can't believe this video has already taken 10 minutes. Alright. I found them. They were underneath the electrostatic bag for the hard drive, so I didn't see them. assume that it's plugged in correctly. So now I'm going to put the front cover back on and we'll give it a good old power, power on test. So in other words, like I've been saying a lot in my computer videos, I'm going to plug it up and fire it up. Okay, and now we hit a dilemma. This cable might not be long enough to reach to the power power plug that I want it to reach to, so I may need to change the power plug between the camera and the computer. Okay. Well, that's off for some reason. I wonder why that's off. That shouldn't be off, then. Plugged in like that. So, unplug it. Try and plug it in. Here we go! Well, the computer is alive, nothing happened. Let's go ahead and push power. Aha! It lives. Do we get a power on self-test? Looks like the answer to that is no. Well, that's going to be a stunning end of the video, because right now I'm at a stalemate. I don't know what the issue is. I don't even think there is an issue. I think it's just deciding that it doesn't want to work purely because it doesn't want to work. Is there, we are missing two pins on this, what is this, 20 pin? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is a 20 pin connector. And we are missing the last three pins here. Uh, that's a white wire and a gray wire. 
I don't know what they go to. I don't think they're critical. So I have no idea why this doesn't work. There's really no excuse for it. But it doesn't. So... Motherboard will need to be changed. I mean, it comes on. System works beautifully in that regard. But it never completes the power on self-test. And I put another power supply in there, and it did complete the power on self-test, so... Not a motherboard issue, so I'm probably going to have to change the motherboard to something that... Like, a thought has crossed my mind that maybe the CPU is too power-hungry for it, which is possible. I'm not entirely sure. But it doesn't need a P4 power connector, which I proved. So I have no idea why those extra two wires are required. I don't think they are, frankly. I think that the computer is just being, well, for lack of a better word, a computer that is being stupid. Typical computer. Not working because it doesn't want to work. So, that is the end of the video. I'm going to have to revisit this in a future video. Probably test if the power supply actually works, although I see no reason why it wouldn't.